Hi guys, um, today I want to go over uh, masking but in a slightly different way. Um, sometimes you come across an image that your typical selection methods and various ways that you might uh, plan to remove a background from an image will fail you. So we have a scenario here where we've got this lady with all the wild and crazy hair. What we want to do is remove her background and try to retain as much of that nice, fine detail as we can. Um, so that's the plan. Let's see how we go. So what I'm going to do first is make <clears throat> an initial selection from my layer. So I need to essentially make a selection of my subject. So as you can see, I'm just going to go and do this like so trying to pick up some of these other little areas with an option to remove parts of hair and I want to just get a bit of her hair now a selection of the lady got a selection of the lady and it's not perfect but if we were to hit mask now it would not look all that great I think you'll agree so that's going to fail us it's not very nice so I'm just going to undo that what I want to do is use the select and mask feature so once i have my initial selection on my layer i'm going to make select and mask and we enter this sort of selection engine inside of uh inside of the program and we have several little things to look at here now first things first there's a way that we view the selection um and some people like to see it like this and some people like to see it like this and whatever personally I like to see it like this because it's really quite definite as to what I have selected and what I don't have selected um, so I'm going to stick with that um, and then I'm going to use my refine edge brush this is my refine edge brush tool and what I'm going to do is just essentially just run my brush around the edges of my subject so I'm just running it through the edges and as you can see it starts to pick up some of that fine detail that we weren't able to grab just in a traditional selection method I'm just running at the edges um, don't run it through the face because well just don't you're, you're going to pick up areas that you don't want to select so the, the key to the tool is in the name refine edge just work on the edges so that looks reasonable i wouldn't bother around the shoulders because that we can pick up in other ways um, what i'll suggest is that from time to time you might toggle back out of the black view to something else and that might reveal little bits and pieces that you might have missed i've done an okay job looks like a little missed a little bit in there just above her ear so i'm going to toggle back to that and maybe give that a bit of a once through and yes i can pick that little area up uh, so toggling in and out of that while you're in this place you can just sort of see areas that maybe we missed and you can just tease those out a little bit um that's it really um so that's your tool second selection edge tool uh you can play with some of these settings but you know 99 times out of 100 i'm probably going to leave those as they are but feathering will give you a softer edge and you know we don't want that uh, smoothing will tend to do something of the same uh, contrast you can just give yourself a little bit more contrast if that's appropriate but pretty much most times I'm gonna pretty much leave that um, but I'm just toggling down this this sliding bar here um, I want to output this to this output settings I'm going to output that to I've lost that there output to up there I want to output that to a layer mask I want to make sure I'm creating a layer mask from my selection and layer mask boom and we're just going to say okay and well I say okay and there it is done so she's done now it looks okay we've got most of that fine area around her hair so we lost a little bit through her ear but we're trying to bring that back um, that looks okay, um, but really the test of this is if you put it against another colour or an image or a background, which typically you may want to do. 
So I'm going to change my foreground color to you know, a random color, something bright and colorful. That looks okay. Now, one of the easiest ways that I've found to fill that layer with a color is to, once having established the color that I need to use on my layer, I would print option, delete, option and delete key. And that will fill that background color. So as you can see, by changing to whichever color you want to go to, option, delete, will immediately fill that color. And you can see if we get in a little bit closer that it's pretty good, but there's a bit of a bit of a halo, a bit of a ghost around her in certain areas and it hasn't been, it's good without being amazing. Um, so we're going to see if we can't repair that a little bit. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we could tackle this. A couple of ways we can tackle this. So I'm back on my image. I'm back on my image. And what I could do is I could burn some pixels in. So I'm going to burn some of those pixels in. And as you can see when I do that, it starts to starts to bring back some of that detail that we might have missed before and it's just darkening the pixels just darkening some of those areas there. and that really does improve it a lot okay so that's a really nifty way to just tidy up some of those bits and pieces there so i'm just going to undo that for a moment just to go back a step or two the way we were And I'll change that color again. This time I'm going to make a new layer. This is another way we can do that same thing. So I'm going to make a new layer on top of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold option right in the junction where these two layers meet, the, the line where these two layers meet, holding option and clicking. That's giving me a clipping mask. Now, what does that mean? Well, a clipping mask is going to clip the contents of the top layer to the bottom layer. And just to illustrate what that would look like, so I'm going to make something extremely obvious here. I've got a pink brush, and what it's going to do is paint in that area. That's what's going to happen. I can only paint within that area, which is pretty cool. But what I can do is I can select a color, I'm holding option, I'm holding option, I'm just sampling a color from the image, holding option, I can sample a color from the image. And I'm going to pick a nice sort of brownie sort of colorish, so sort of like some, some mid mid brown color. And then I can just maybe reduce my opacity a little bit. And I can start to bring back some of that color. And it's a non-destructive way. It's probably a little bit more non-destructive than that first method and by just painting into that top layer as you can see it can go on and off i'm getting a far better looking sort of cut out if you like and uh i think that's a winner guys uh so that's refine edge um i think it's a great tool get to know it and practice it every image has different qualities every image presents different scenarios uh, and this is just a great way for us to sort of cut out things that would be very difficult to cut out otherwise. Um, so that's for Fine Edge. Um, I hope that helps. Um, good luck and I'll see you in class.